This past week's top Disney news stories include pieces on Deadpool 3, Latin American Disney+, Plus, Epcot updates, and Hong Kong Disneyland celebrating its birthday. And I'll have what's new on Disney+, Plus, so stay tuned and I'll break it all down. Well, hello there. My name's Jeremy, and welcome back to Freeform Disney, where I talk about all aspects of Disney, from the animated movies to the theme parks to Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, and the TV shows, and everything else in between. And that is why it's Freeform. And keep coming back every day for new daily content. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now here we are once more, so on to this past week's biggest Disney news stories. First, let's dive into some Marvel news. Hollywood Reporter recently told us that Black Panther 2 is going to begin shooting in July of next year, which indicates a surprisingly short delay for shooting. Considering the reworking of the script, which must have been necessary given Chadwick Boseman's unexpected death. We also found out that CGI will not be used to bring Chadwick Boseman into the sequel. So a couple interesting Black Panther things there. Looks like it might actually be on schedule, relatively. Intriguing. And some other tidbits on where we are currently with Marvel. Miss Marvel just recently began its shoot over in Atlanta. Thor Love and Thunder is looking to start shooting in Australia in January. And there's also been a bit of reports from some people that it looks like it has an Avengers 5 feel to it due to the size of its cast. Hey, I mean, that's a bit exciting right there. Also, Ant-Man 3 will start shooting later next year, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is expected to start shooting by the end of the year. Dang! <laughs> the amount of Marvel content we have coming up is huge. And hey, one other Marvel piece that also came up with news this week. Deadline reported that Deadpool 3 is moving forward. Now, sisters Wendy Molyneux and Lizzie Milneux of Bob's Burger fame will be writing the movie. And also, we've heard more recent confirmation that yes, the movie will still be rated R, even though it's from the MCU, which will make it an MCU first right there. So after a year where there's not been much going on in the MCU, we're going to have some big stuff on the horizon coming up. Looking forward to it, that's for sure. Moving on to some Star Wars news, now it's, it's, this does count. In real life space here, back on Monday, November 16th, SpaceX for the first time docked and brought four astronauts to the International Space Station. And they also had someone from a galaxy far, far away, Baby Yoda. He actually did perform a function too because he was their zero G indicator. Which hey, you get to bring something fun up while you're doing it. This time, Baby Yoda. We've also got some new Disney Plus news as well. There is a new docu-series that's going to look into the production and inspiration behind the movie Clouds. It's called Beyond the Clouds, and it's going to start airing on Friday, December 4th, and there are going to be nine episodes in total. Now, I'm hearing that it may only appear in the extras section for the movie itself. Now, that sounds a little odd to me because they seem to be making a little bit of a push on this. But hey, I guess we'll have to find out for sure soon enough. I'm always up for some more docuseries and more extras that go behind the scenes on things. I've always loved those kind of extras. Always have. On the right stuff front, well, we found out a bit of stuff potentially regarding Season 2. First off, it's been awarded $13.7 million by the San Diego Film Office to relocate to California for its second season. Now, this is certainly a strong incentive for Disney to renew the show. And there's also been one report by a local San Diego source which claims that the show has been renewed, but no one else has picked up that report, and Disney has not yet given any official word on renewal. So I'm looking pretty skeptically at that one. Well, anyway, here is hoping for a season two. I really would love to see it. There's so much more to go into. And that show got so much stronger in its back half. Oh, dang. So yeah. Definitely, let's keep it going and move onward toward the moon. Finally, on Disney Plus news, Disney announced that Disney Plus is now available in Latin America. So a whole bunch of countries added to the list right there. And also on top of that, they are doing one more thing for Latin America too. 
Disney Plus announced that they are already working on 70 original shows which they have in development in Latin America, specifically using crews from Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, and Argentina. So that's a nice addition right there. Lots of news for Disney Plus coming up. And hey, let's move on to some other Disney news. The IAAPA, which is the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, has added two new Disney members to its Hall of Fame. Those are Disney legend Tony Baxter, who has done impressive things over his many years with Disney Imagineering. From working on the land, seas, and imagination pavilions over at Epcot, or say Star Tours, Splash Mountain, Indiana Jones Ride, heck, even Disneyland Paris, he's done quite a lot. There's a reason he's a Disney legend. And the other inductee was Greg Hale, who is the current chief safety officer for Disney Parks for his commitment to safety and increasing access for those with disabilities. But don't think that's all he does, as he also happens to hold dozens of patents, was one of the inventors of the FastPass system, and was a previous chair of the IAAPA. So a lot going on there too. So congratulations to both of them, impressive people right there. And now we also have a bunch of theme park news, partly because of this IAAP Expo, where Josh D.A. Morrow gave the keynote address, also, we had the D23 Fantastic World celebration and there was an Epcot panel, so we've got a bit of park news that came out of all this. First off, we found out that they are adding a fifth cast member key, and this new key is going to be inclusion, so that's one more of the ideals that will be strived for there. And speaking on the theme of inclusion, we also heard that the retheme of Splash Mountain to the Princess and the Frog has been expedited. Don't know exactly what kind of timeline that means we're on, but hey, apparently they are really working to get it fast. Hopefully, you know, with as much quality as they can, definitely. We also have some interesting Walt Disney World news because the Park Hopper apparently will be coming back January 1st, although it's going to be kind of limited. It'll only start working at 2 p.m. each day. But hey, somewhere in the future, it might start at earlier and it also might go ahead and depend on which day and which park. So a little up in the air, but they are coming back kind of. And over at the Epcot side, well, first off, we found out a new show that's coming up. So World Showcase Lagoon is going to get a daytime show as well as their new nighttime show they're working on. And that's because those barges that will be used for the fireworks and everything else, they are actually being permanently installed in the lagoon. So there will be cool fountains during the day and other stuff going on in there. And we also got the updates on construction. For instance, Ratatouille over at Epcot is on schedule for a 2021 opening. They're continuing all that mighty work on Harmonious, that big new nighttime spectacular. And the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Coaster is whew, lots of construction work on that one and it's moving forward. We also got to see some new images of the new Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel that is up and coming. We also got to see a bit of the progress over a California adventure with the construction of Avengers Campus, as well as Disneyland Paris's version of it. And also a quick look at Shanghai Disneyland with their Zootopia expansion. So lots of continuing construction. And as a surprise, we just recently found out that even though Disneyland Resort's been closed, there's a little extra for Mickey's birthday over there because they've apparently spent four days restoring both the partner statue at Disneyland and the storyteller statue over at California Adventure. And just look at that bronze pop in those images. Very nice. Now, while we're talking about Disneyland Resort, it should be noted that Orange County, California, as a lot of the U.S. is, is currently spiking for COVID cases, and that means Disneyland Resort will not be reopening anytime soon. Moving across the ocean over to Hong Kong Disneyland for a quick moment, Hong Kong Disneyland finally started its 15th anniversary celebrations, and that means they have unveiled the new Castle of Magical Dreams. And you've seen some images on it here before in my news videos. And, oh man, that is a beautiful, beautiful castle. It went from simply being a clone of Disneyland's castle to being one of the most amazing castles in all of the Disney parks. And now with all of that said, it's time to talk about what's new on Disney+. Plus. So Friday, November 20th saw a few titles added over there, as well as actually the few days before in this case. The highlights for me include a few Disney Plus original shows. The Mandalorian had its fourth episode. And it was definitely another good one right there if you're watching. I'm definitely looking even more forward to everything else coming up, shall we say. 
Then we had Marvel 616 go ahead and pop up on Disney+. Plus. All eight episodes are all up there, and this is a docuseries looking at Marvel as a whole as a company. Now, each of the episodes range in 45 to over an hour in length. So yeah, go check into that right there. They're each done by different directors looking at different aspects of Marvel. Pretty interesting. Then there was The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse. Now, this actually premiered at a different date, so actually Wednesday the 18th, which was Mickey and Minnie's birthday right there. And so we got our first two episodes for A Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse. Oh, and I've got a spoiler-free review, or spoiler-free enough review of that one up on the channel if you're curious about it. Definitely well worth checking out, I think. And eh, it's not a big time investment, so hey, you're not out a lot if you don't like it. And then finally on the Disney Plus original shows, The Right Stuff had its season finale. And oh, I think it was the best of the entire season right there. Definitely, if anything justifies having another season, sure as heck that one does. So definitely hoping for it. There were a couple Disney Plus original films. We had The Real Right Stuff went ahead and came up on Disney Plus. I'll probably take a look at that one sometime. That's a documentary that takes a look more at the actual history and uses real footage, etc., etc. And then also we had the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, which came out on the 17th because that is specifically Life Day. In other words, the anniversary of the original Star Wars Holiday Special. And I went ahead and live streamed that. Now I'll let you know before if you can go check out my live stream on it if you want. I mean, as long as you have access to watch it yourself. And I wasn't the biggest fan. There were certainly fun moments in there, but uh, watch it at your own discretion if that's your interest. And hey, for perhaps one last time, One Day at Disney had another new episode. This time it is the season one finale, and it's looking back at the series as a whole to some degree. And I don't know whether we're getting a season two on that, or if so, when it will happen. I guess we'll find that out when we find it out. After all, the pandemic's done all kinds of weird things here, so that would certainly probably have screwed with a show like this, I would imagine. So we'll see what we see. And hey, with that, that is the news for this week. So what did you think about all of the Marvel updates we got? And also, was there a particular piece of all that theme park news that you're really happy to hear about? Go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, help me out and give it a like and a share. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back here tomorrow with another new video for Freeform Disney. Have a magical day and may the force be with you. Always.